think at first, when we all learned about it, it was a little bit confusing, and kind of a shock. We kind of knew about each other, but not in a capacity that we were paying attention to the other players in the field. I was reading for something that I didn't like, some reason to say no. As I'm learning about Tomo, I'm, uh, I'm finding myself having the same kinds of conceptual aha moments that I, that I had as I was learning about Cyberknife. People tend to stay, remain same, you know, always. This merger can be a kind of a trigger. We are no more young company. So uh, we should change our mind, our heart, uh, we should learn from each other that how we can improve ourselves, how we can grow. One of my best friends, he um, died of throat cancer. My mother passed away from ovarian cancer in 2002. It would have helped if, if my mother hadn't suffered so much. My mother had colorectal cancer, which probably could have been treated with radiotherapy if we'd had tomotherapy or cybernife at that time. I got a call on a Friday saying uh, that uh, I was positive. Finally wound up, thank God, going through a cybernife machine. I have no side effects from this whatsoever, and of course that's almost seven years of relatively good health. I don't think that has in any way limited my enjoyment of um, the great aspects of life. The morning, like all our mornings, uh, went to shave, noticed a, a small bump. Four or five days later, test came back. That's when I was told uh, the test was positive for secondary squamous cell cancer. You start reading on radiation to your throat and, and face and, and uh, it's just an endless series of bad news. I've been an athlete, ran all my life. That's my quiet time, I call it. It's healing time. Really didn't want to give that, that up. What Tomo said was the quality of life. Since then, uh, one full marathon, half arm man, and a full arm man. Always got to keep a long term goal to, to keep going. I think that if you are a cancer patient, you want to know that you are getting what you really need to help you in the biggest battle of your life. It's one of the reasons I went to work for Accuray because I firmly believe that they had a tool that needs to be out there in the world. No matter what, what part of Accuray you are, tomotherapy, we're all saving lives. We're, uh, we're helping mothers live longer for their children. Really what I think has sort of surfaced now um, emotionally is that we don't have to turn away any cancer patients. When you can affect somebody's life in that kind of way, um, you got to work with a company.